How's it gonna feel? How's it feel to be semi state champs? I mean, I'm lost for words. This being my second year here, uh, last year we had a little bit of a rough season to make it here and uh, kind of break that trend of not being able to win here for the last two or three years. So to be a new trend center here is uh, quite awesome. Take me back to that interception return for a touchdown. I mean, Pioneer didn't has a, didn't throw pretty much all night except for that one. Take me back to that play. What you know when that ball got in your hands? What were you thinking? Man, my uh, shout out to my friend up in heaven. Man, he passed away just a couple last week. And, you know, I switched my number to 34. It just felt his presence right there, just uh, taking me into that end zone. Talk about how this defense just. You know, you've been, you bent, but you didn't break, and you, you made the big stops the second half when you needed to. Just what was it about the we second half that you guys stepped up we and were able to get this win? Uh, to be honest, what the coaches said to us at halftime, you know, to tell us to not quit uh, fighting and just push through. Oh, it's so sweet, man. Uh, you know, it, I wouldn't want to be here with another group of guys, experience all this. You know, we're down 28 to 7, and we were in the locker room and at halftime, and we just may have a game plan and, you know, we could have just sat down and gave up and said, you know, we're just, we couldn't, we just, we just had to talk and not give up. I'm just so proud of these guys, but the job's not over, you know. Uh, O-line had the best game of their career. I mean, I'm, I couldn't be more proud of these seniors. And it's just, it's just a dedication. It's a team win. It's not an individual person. It's a team win. So I'm, I'm so proud of these guys. Talk about how your defense played the second half. Too. They're the ones that really were able to give you guys the good field position, get you back into this game, and the score. Yeah, our defense got out to a slow start, but you know, just staying strong and coming back in the second half and just making up a game plan. That's all it is, and looking at the details of what their offense was. You know, they weren't doing anything different. They were just running down our throat first half. But our defense, you know, came back and did such a great job. And up up front, they did so good. And you know, I'm proud of them. Can you talk about the game that Ramon had? He had a couple big plays for you. Uh, how, how important is it to have a playmaker like that in the backfield? Oh, it's awesome. You know, I can just hand the ball off to Ramon and watch him make moves. You know. Sometimes the guy, uh, there's two guys on blocks and he makes a miss, and it's just watching the highlight reel in the back, the backfield. So it takes pressure off the passing game, and uh, he's a he's a great help to the team. He's a great senior leader, and you know he's he's he did great this game. Where does this rank in terms of the most fun game that you played in? Uh, one of the most fun, you know, uh, just just the team aspect of the game, uh, staying together. It just really shows from uh, last year to this year, our uh, brotherhood we had. We had a whole year together, and now we had. Uh, experience with each other and just grew throughout the season and worked on the little things like staying after practice, running, all that little stuff feeds up to getting to a state championship and you know none of it's about luck, it's about earning it and these guys earned it and I'm proud of them.